A common misconception is that the Earth's shadow on the Moon causes the Moon's varying phases. But we only have to look at this image to realise that that can't be true. Unless the Earth is shaped like a banana. Welcome back to Curiosity. I'm Ollie Hubbard. The Moon really gets its phases by the different perspectives we, here on Earth, observe it. So as you can see here, we've got the Sun, the Earth and the Moon. The Moon has an elliptical orbit around the Earth, but for ease of explanation we'll use a circle, or my best attempt at a circle. Firstly, the Moon does rotate on its axis, but its rotation takes almost the exact same time it spends orbiting Earth once. The result is a synchronous rotation, basically meaning that we don't notice it rotating because the rotation causes the same side of the Moon to face us through its orbit. To illustrate this, the white half is the face Earth always sees, and the black half is the opposite face. I stress that this is demonstrating why we always observe the same face of the Moon, and not why we see its phases. Once you understand this, you can go further into understanding the phases of the Moon. The demonstration now illustrates the illumination of the Moon from the Sun. When it orbits around the Earth, Half of the Moon is always illuminated by the Sun. This side is represented by the white side of the Moon. And so consequently, the other half of the Moon is dark, as represented by the black half. So from this perspective, people on Earth view a full Moon, as the whole illuminated face is visible. To help you remember this concept, a full Moon is really a half Moon. Now as it orbits, from this perspective we observe a waning gibbous. Half the Moon is still illuminated, just it is no longer visible to us. And due to the rotation of the Moon on its axis, the half of the Moon facing Earth, illuminated and dark, is the face which we saw during the full Moon. And so the Moon continues to rotate and orbit around the Earth until it gets to a new Moon. Now here, the face we saw at full moon is still facing the Earth, but we cannot see it as the sun's light is shining upon the other side. It is for this very reason that there is no true dark side of the moon. Both sides are completely illuminated at one stage. After the new moon, the moon continues its orbit and rotation, fulfilling each phase to an Earth observer, until eventually coming back to appearing full. Although it seems complex, once you can visualise the process it becomes a lot easier to comprehend. I will link a moon phase diagram in the description and please ask any questions in the comments below. I hope you're a bit more curious. Please like and subscribe to catch next week's video and click this video to answer do clouds fall 